What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. And in part four of this YouTube series, we're going to talk all about million dollar apps and how do you do ASO for them? How do you convince your leadership? How do you incorporate into your UA plans? Does it mess up your UA plans? And with me to discuss all that and so much more is my friend all the way out in Russia, David Margrian, who is the head of ASO, an amazing ASO tool that you guys have to check out. We've done a lot of product videos on it. It is checkaso.io. David, let's do this. Round four, my friend. <laughs> Hi, Steve. <laughs> yeah, this is the final round, and I think it will be interesting. Yeah, so let's talk all about this. All right, usually when I hear about it, like when I'm talking to million-dollar apps, I actually talk to somebody who's at a really big company, and he was like, look, we don't even do ASO. And I'm like, what? You don't even do ASO? They rank really well. So when you're a million-dollar app, you have a UA strategy that already works. How do you think about ASO for these big apps? So I guess many of, of, of you can think of uh, very, as you said, very popular apps that are not optimized in any way in terms of ASO. And because large players uh, pay attention to common channels to attract app traffic, first of all, UA, and market outside app stores, um, the difference between ASO and classic user acquisition channels is that with ASO, you have a certain ARPA limit tied to the number of uh, App Store users in your country, for example. Uh, in case of paid user acquisition, you are limited mostly by your budget. So successful apps, as we know, uh, it have very, very large budgets. And um, they see ASO as... Um, as a, something that can bring a small number of installs and uh, which is not worth wasting time on. And this is understandable and justifiable in a way. Um, large apps are, are often ranked in top position by most relevant keyboards, even if they haven't been optimized their app metadata at all. And this is due to uh, lots of installs that come from both stores and external sources. And all these uh, improve the app rankings and moves it up, move these apps up by keyboards. Uh, today's ASO is not only about working with keywords and text metadata, as many are used to mistakenly believe, especially in big companies. Uh, it's a huge and complex task of improving the app page and consistent testing of uh, new hypotheses. It, it is this approach that um, that makes it possible to achieve uh, significant success, even for for apps that seem to have uh, already succeed. Um, graphic assets, uh, app rating, text metadata, uh, variety of traffic channels, in apps, custom store listing. Uh, just uh, this is just a part of what you can improve, regardless if you're if you're. Uh, regardless of your success. And um, here is a simple example. Uh, say, let's imagine that you have an app that gets 1 million impressions every day and has a 5% conversion rate. In, it makes uh, 50,000 installs a day. And if you just increase conversion only by 5%, it will yeah. be 5.25 and it will make uh, 52 and uh, 52,500 installs a day, and then a number will grow to uh, 75,000 a month and almost 1 million installs a year. So yeah. I think that's not bad at all, even for a large-scale app. So every, every business owner, every manager is interested in performance improvement. And to convey uh, the value of ASO, you can choose one of two ways, I think. Uh, the first, conduct a full-scale audit of the app page and store-related metrics and collect stories of your competitor's success or uh, that of similar apps. Find data and statistics you need to help to influence your manager's decision. And keep in mind that numbers are key and uh, convincing uh, and true data is better than any explanation. 
the 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 second thing is uh, you can do um, just start optimizing if you authorize to make decisions in your team uh, so you can start improving so yourself just do the first steps for example and as soon as you see the progress uh, your managers won't have any question about the necessity of ASO. So we will show the uh, progress uh, just doing any steps, and I think that will be enough. Yeah. I love what you said, David, because, you know, I did some numbers too, and it's a long video because people are like, I was working with bigger companies. They're like, how do I even justify it? Like, you only grew at 5%. I'm like, you know what? 5% to you is huge. Like, and then I said, look, here's the incremental increase in downloads and how much are you paying for downloads? And so you can think about it. Let's say I just got you incrementally 3000 more downloads a month, super tiny, right? Like for a big company, maybe not that big, three to 5,000. What's the average cost per install? Now multiply that by 3000 and I just saved you, you know, let's say you're used to paying two to $3 a month. I just closed, saved you close to six to $9,000 a month. And so that's where I feel like they don't think about it because they have a channel that works, but if you just increase it by a little bit, you're actually saving a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. All right, David, let's move on to what are the most commonly overlooked ASO elements that million dollar apps are missing out on? Uh, so, um, We've already mentioned that uh, even successful and popular apps need ASO and how to get the most progress if uh, every major area is uh, already well developed and approved. So we will not talk here about um, text optimization and graphic optimization and all the uh, basic things. So let's imagine that you've done everything. Uh, let's take a look at something that are often over overlooked uh, even if you have a large scale app um getting featured is the first and most important thing in terms of efficiency many apps get featured by stores editors as they grow in popularity and recognition um, getting featured uh, can provide a massive increase in installs and help you assess new markets where it could be easier to succeed um, the more successful and popular your app is the more interesting you are to app stores uh, they will find it profitable to promote you because users like your app and bring revenue, so a part of which will go to the stores. Uh, despite this, uh, you may want to apply to get featured as it can expand your presence and provide more organic users. You can get um, featured by both uh, Google Play and Apple App Store. Uh, to give it a try, feel fill out an application form and submit it to the store. Uh, an excellent ground for getting featured is to update your app or your game by maybe adding new functionality or new game level. And to maximize your chance of getting featured, you may, you may want to localize both, both app page metadata and your app's interface into various languages and innovation and usage of new source features are another advantage. Uh, right now it can be, for example, the dark theme for app, Apple App Store apps or maybe live ops events for Google Play. Um, so to, to make the most out of getting featured, you should get, get ready for it, first of all, because app stability is the most important thing on this stage it will affect your chances of getting featured and protect you from negative reviews uh, should they happen if your app is lagging and if your app is slow you will lose users and get a lot of negative reviews and ratings in particular uh, you should uh, check if your product is technically adjusted to a big jump uh, in in the server load first of all and your system is uh, strong enough to meet such a challenge uh, when you when you got featured. Uh, secondly, check if your app fits store guidelines to avoid to avoid any trouble. You can find them in a help center of each store. And the third thing to do is submit your application, your app in advance. Uh, app moderation can take uh, a lot of time, and if you have a major update planned and you want to get featured during the, the time, make sure to, 
to, sub to submit the application long before the day uh, and describe the essence of the update and its importance uh, in as much details as possible. The fourth important thing is uh, rating and reviews, of course, as they directly affect conversion, as I said before. So along with a large number of, of organic traffic, getting featured has other consequences that are not always positive. Well, the first thing um, that, uh, that will upset you is a conversion rate because uh, millions of users will find your app. Most of them are not your target audience. Uh, that means that your conversion will decrease significantly, and this can this can have a very negative impact on your ranking, especially on Google Play, because Google Play pays a lot of attention on your conversion rate. And make sure your conversion rate is high enough before featuring, so that you don't uh, regret uh, the consequences after. For similar reasons, you may find a decrease in your average rating and not entirely positive reviews, of course. And please uh, keep in mind that this is an integral part of any featuring and you just should get ready for it. So that's what can I say. And apart from getting featured, you can pay your intention to in-apps if your app is in the Apple App Store, of course, because uh in apple app store you can promote your in-apps which means that they can appear in the app page in search result by keywords uh, you can make up to 20 in-apps for a single app and they like the app page need to be optimized in terms of graphic both and text metadata uh, the principal advantage of uh, of in-apps for large scale apps is not so much opportunity to advertise and make more intels, installs, but rather an opportunity to improve conversion and squeeze out competitors. Uh, because promoted in apps are very often index, indexed by the same keywords as the app, and uh, they no less often shown up in search results uh, immediately after the app. For example, um, if your app is, uh, is ranked first, your in-app will come second by the keyword. So this is a huge advantage since you, you can occupy the search results entirely and your competitors can lose uh, ranking. Uh, your competitors can lose ranking and stay in, invisible to users unless they scroll down, unless users scroll down the first apps. So given the, the strong indexing and ranking of large scale apps, this approach um, offers a big advantage in terms of uh, conversion rate and app visibility. And fighting for ranking will be a double trouble to your competitors. Uh, and we at Chikeso have uh, created an in-app tool that makes in-app promoted data available and allows you to analyze progress. So if you can, if you want to work with your in-apps, with promoted in-apps in Apple App Store, you can go check our tool, and I believe it can help you. Um, and as for me, in-app store optimizing in-apps is a must. You can increase the number of keywords, which will trigger your app to appear among the search result, uh, taking as much space as possible in search result, I think is crucial for for the success for success of any app or game in Apple App Store. I love it. <sighs> yeah, I love it. David, so I want to hit on a couple of different things and we'll have some visuals for this, but essentially that the getting featured, such a key element. I actually wasn't even thinking about that when I was thinking about ASO, because when you get featured, especially if you have a story feature and we had a client that had a story feature, Apple will incorporate those story features into your ASO. And as you adjust your ASO, your story might start showing up for some of these keywords that you started changing for. And so that's what, what happened with one of our clients is, you know, their story was showing up for their main keywords. And then we started moving some keywords around, got them to eventually be number one for a certain keyword. And then that keyword, 
is now that story that Apple, the Apple feature is not showing up for that new keyword. And so if you start adjusting it, you'll start showing up your Apple story will start showing up for these different keywords as you start adjusting for that as well. And then lastly, that in app purchase is huge. And we there, so you definitely have to do it because you're probably going to get, you probably have good rankings anyways, good indexing, and you can get for some competitive keywords. So really go through that in app purchase optimization, have some good keywords in there. Definitely have an image in there as well. David, this has been absolutely amazing. Guys, if you're looking for an ASO tool, go to this particular website, check ASO.io, check ASO.io. It will teach you from the very start from this YouTube series, from part one, if you're just starting out all the way to, if you're ready to scale to the million dollar apps and for you million dollar apps, the favorite tool that I have, and David mentioned this, is you can see which one of your competitors are get their in-app purchases, which in-app purchases are getting indexed, and which in-app purchases are dominating certain keywords. So you can get some really great intel into your big competitors. David, if the audience wants to connect with you in any other way, do you want to send them anywhere else besides checkaso.io? You can you can visit our YouTube channel, check ASO. We can a lot of uh, good stuff, also in English and in Russian language. Nice. Or you can connect with me in LinkedIn if you have some question about ASO or maybe about our, our platform. And you want on or if you want to cooperate with us, maybe doing some good stuff, good uh, webinars or maybe articles, you can write me in LinkedIn. I will be glad to. To answer awesome. you. Well, all that is linked up into the YouTube description. David's LinkedIn, check ASO's YouTube channel, and of course, check ASO.io. Thank you guys for joining. If you got any questions with ASO, leave a comment below as well, or just go ask David. He'll help you out as well. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.